Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com. I've done some editing to this image inside of Lightroom, but in order to push this any further, I'm really going to need to open this inside of Photoshop. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, uh, choose Edit In, and open this as a smart object inside of Photoshop. Let's make sure that the raw file is embedded in the layer. Um, this isn't always uh, required depending on your workflow, but it's uh, one of the non destructive workflows that I like. Now, uh, if I'm going to do any um, uh, skin retouching to this, uh, we can use a technique called frequency separation. It basically just divides the image up into the higher frequency, the, the detail or the fine detail, and the lower frequency, which is basically the shape and color of the image. Now, if you're not not very comfortable with those high-end retouching techniques. There are filters that uh, leverage uh, this uh, technique um, and uh, we can pick one up from the filter here. I've actually purchased this one from Imaginomic. It's called Imaginomic Porture. And uh, this is going to, uh, I'll just zoom in so you can actually see what this filter is doing. And I'm not going to uh, adjust uh, a lot of the settings here. I'm just going to uh, leave one of the presets, preset smoothing normal. Let's just uh, drop that down to uh, 50%. You can see I've basically done nothing to this, um, but you can see um, the, it's leaving the, uh, the fine detail of the skin pores, but it's smoothing out those mid frequencies here, uh, creating a smoother contours and also giving a much better skin complexion okay um, and I don't really need to do too much more you can you can see you've got quite a lot of control here uh, but I could just select OK now the great thing about uh, this particular filter is it's applied as a smart filter to this smart object uh, and if I decide I want to fine tune any of those settings all I need to do is just double click the filter name and I can access all of the settings that are being applied uh, to this smart object so I'll hit cancel that out okay now if you wanted to uh, remove some of the uh, the larger bumps uh, on the skin here obviously um, the 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 app hasn't actually or the filter hasn't done that effectively then I would need to work um, on um, this image um, on top of that filter okay so um, because it's a smart object you'll notice some of the tools such as the clone tool or the healing brush tool we're getting that um, uh, basically the icon which says uh, you can't uh, you can't use this tool that's what that icon is basically pointing out uh, smart objects uh, don't allow you to work directly uh, onto um, that smart object uh, it doesn't mean to say we can't use the clone stamp or the healing uh, brush we just have to do it on a separate layer so I'll just click on the add new layer which creates a, a new layer above and now I can work with these tools if you're working with any of these tools on an empty layer that you've created just make sure you come up to the object options bar and you select the all layers. If you've got current layer selected, obviously there's no pixels on this layer, uh, so the tools are not going to work at all without you first selecting all layers. Okay, now I've got uh, the healing brush here. This one does allow uh, or require that I just make a choice of the texture that I want. Uh, so I'll just hold down the Alt or Option key, click and then come up uh, to anything that I want to remove and there we have um, that information gone okay and just a couple of bumps on the forehead uh, like so and we should have got a really good skin complexion going there uh, just one more on that cheek and we can also um, uh, decide that we might want to reduce uh, that little glow on the nose there uh, just put a little bit of powder there okay so um, I could uh, save this off and return to Lightroom but one of the other things that uh, Photoshop is uh, very good at obviously is um, basically doing some manipulation to the shape uh, of the face or some of the features in the face and to do that I'm uh, because I've got this um, image spread now over two layers I'm just going to create a stamp visible layer uh, basically you hold down all three modifier keys that's the command option 
using shift key on a Mac or uh, control alt shift key on a PC and then just uh, tap the letter E on the keyboard and that creates this um, uh, stamped or merged visible layer on top of the layer. Well it actually creates it above the active layer so you do want to make sure that if it suddenly appears in between these two layers uh, we basically push that to the top. Okay so then we can come up to the filter menu and choose the liquify filter. Now um, um, you'll see that in the uh, um, left tools area I've actually got the face tool selected and that basically has already done face detection. You can see um, pointers and pins have been replaced or placed around the eyes and uh, I can um, um, adjust any of these to basically increase uh, the eye size uh, or the um, or even the rotation of the eye if one eye is a little bit crooked. Um, I'm mostly interested in the nose at this point. It's photographed with a 50mm lens instead of a portrait lens and so this uh, the nose width just, just a little bit excessive and that was more of a distortion of the lens rather than any problem I was having with the model. I've also taken a slightly high vantage point to this model so I can just get the whites of the eyes appearing under the iris there and this has created a slightly smaller looking chin than she actually has so I'm just going to pull that chin down a little bit just to give her a little bit more definition there. I've also got a little bit of uh, the bottom lip looks um, excessively large compared to the top lip and again that's possibly my fault with the, the vantage point. So I'm just going to even those up just by reducing that uh, bottom lip there. Not too many adjustments. If you are uh, altering eyes, the size of eyes, then what I would recommend and um, is you can actually place the um, uh, click on the link icon here. And this basically means that if you increase one size of one eye, they'll both uh, increase or decrease at the same time. You do have to be a little bit careful with features. Uh, so that we don't get a cartoon character if we overdo things here. Uh, that's enough for me. I've just done a little bit of fine tuning there um, to give the um, uh, to bring back a sort of more natural looking to this model. And I'll, so I'll select OK. And if I click on and off this uh, top layer, you'll see a before and after. Just a minor adjustment there, but one that I think creates um, a, a remarkable improvement to this image. And uh, that basically uh, is one of the reasons we do leave Lightroom, is to get some of that skin retouching done um, uh, to this level inside of Photoshop CC. And also to access the, uh, the face uh, tool inside of the Liquify um, filter.